I said this early, but the easiest way to understand it uh, is something actually a professor named Eugene uh, Volokh said, is that the internet made speech cheap. It made it uh, easy for anyone to at least put their ideas out there. The flip side, and the thing I don't think we completely understood at the time was, or, or even now, was that a natural consequence of making speech cheap and abundant was to make human attention scarce and valuable. Um, maybe it's no surprise, again, I'll turn to your own life. Do you find that even throughout your own day, there's maybe hundreds, maybe even a thousand efforts to try to get at your attention? That, you know, it seems that most of the media technologies we use feel kind of addictive. Where, where's my phone? I just, this is a very attentive audience, actually. You know, if I sometimes give talkers to, 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 to young, you know, maybe it's my fault, but sometimes younger audiences, I think some people cannot control themselves, cannot sit through an entire speech. And it's partially, I think, because there is this incredible value now of human attention, and any way you can get part of it is, is, is the business model. And this has affected, and I think transformed, our political speech environment um, in fundamental ways, um, some, of some of which I'll describe. But maybe I'll just put one up there, is that almost everything in our political speech environment has become a contest for attention. Maybe I'll point to someone who's particularly good at this. His name is President Trump, once candidate Trump. Do you remember how there'd be these debates, uh, Republican, Republican debates, and everyone would say, oh my God, you know, Trump really lost that debate. It was, Terry didn't say all these dumb things. But everything was about Trump. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, I think that Trump has this real genius understanding of the importance of attention as kind of the uber value. More important than truth, more important than almost than the message. Just making sure everyone is receiving your information at all times. That that is, that is the essential, <laughs> crucial moment. I, I wish that was a punchline, but not really funny <laughs> enough. But yeah, and, and that, that's, that's, an old, that's kind of an old lesson, but I think it's a lesson of our times, is, is that one of the transformations is that everything is about winning the battle for attention. Unfortunately, I have to say this also makes the opposition to, to anyone who gathers attention, Trump in particular, in some ways feed the fire, right? Because it moves even more attention, more attention. Everything becomes around one person's agenda and what they have to say.